G'day guys, welcome back to the Devon Too Good Investing Channel. Today we're going to be doing an A2 Milk uh, company update. Uh, we had some news come through the other day about a potential buyout of the company, but let's just uh, hop right in. So over the last year, A2 Milk's completely been smashed. Um, you can see we're down 67% over last year. Uh, this is mainly due to the the pressure on the Daigo channel. Pretty much, uh, there has been no international travel coming in and out of Australia. Uh, our borders are closed, and as a result, this has affected the Daigo channel quite significantly. To make matters worse, as well, uh, management came came out with four earnings downgrades. And as a result, one of the problems I had with, with this was that management kept setting unrealistic expectations to the market and it just kept on, you know, it pretty much destroyed shareholder confidence. So if we have a look now at uh, what's happened over the recent times, they've actually appointed some new management at the company. Uh, so... The A2 company is pleased to announce the appointment of two new members to the executive leadership team following the recent resignation of Peter Nathan. And Peter was at the company for ages. And honestly, he, he's a legend, but the way he handled you know, these downgrades, it just wasn't up to standard. But as a result, uh, Zhao Li will become a direct report to David Bordalusi, who's also uh, A2 Milk's fairly new CEO. Uh, and uh, Zhao Li will continue to be responsible for the company's uh, China label infant milk formula and other domestic business. They also appointed Johan, I'm not even going to try that last name, but he will join the company in a role of executive general manager and he will also report to the CEO. Uh, importantly, the international team will be responsible for managing English label IMF products sold through all the channels, prince principally via the Daigu slash reseller and cross-border e-commerce channels. Now for what you're all here for, A2 Milkshares saw on speculation a takeover bid may be in the wings. The company's shares jumped 12% to $7.07 in late afternoon trading valuing the company at $5.3 billion. The A2 Milk's company shares have slumped 67% over the last year as it downgraded its earnings four times. Swiss multinational Nestle is keeping a close eye on A2 Milk and Kieran Lyon has also looked at the company in the past, although both previously thought the price was too high. A2 has always been known as a potential takeover target, said Hobson Wealth Partners Investment Advisor Brad Gordon. A2 Milk suffered a setback during COVID-19 as border closures and trade disruptions meant fewer tourists and international students shipped its products to China, known as the Daigo Trade. In May, the company said it had too much inventory in the market and undertook to reduce sales volumes and swap out its older stock and destroy it. So what happened was the A2 milk company thought they were going to sell more products than they actually did. So as a result, there was a bunch of products left on the shelves, which meant there was too much inventory in the market. And a lot of this product, unfortunately needed to be destroyed because it was no longer fresh. A2 Milk said it expects revenue of between 1.2 billion and 1.25 billion in the year ended June 30, down from 1.73 billion the previous year. Now if you would turn your attention to the graph here, this shows the percentage shorted for the A2 Milk company. Now if you look closely at the graph, over the last three months, you'll notice that the percent shorted is between six and say six and a half percent. Now, I'm speculating that a lot of these shares, uh, a lot of the short percentage 
or in other words, the people shorting the company, I think they might have liquidated their short position upon this news. As typically when a buyout is announced, the share price usually has some sort of short-term pop. Now, my final thoughts on the potential A2 Milk uh, buyout by Nestle. Well, it really depends on your perspective. Um, if you're a believer that A2 Milk will uh, eventually uh, reactivate its Daigo channel and the brand remains strong, then as you saw like in the past, A2 Milk's been growing 30, 40, 50% year over year in terms of revenue, uh, earnings per share, cash flow, equity. And then on the balance sheet, it had a pristine balance sheet. It still does have a pristine balance sheet. But on the other hand, if you believe that the Daigo channel is never going to come back and this is materially uh, damaged the A2 Milk brand, then this buyout might be a good thing for you. But if we're being real though, like if you're in this company and you think Daigo is never coming back and the brand has been materially damaged, if you're in this stock, like I, I don't know what you're doing. But anyway, that brings me to the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe, please like, and have a good day.